Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I'm going to be doing something a little bit self-indulgent and talk about the language of the tulip flowers and this is something that I've wanted to do for a long time because when I um, do my illustrations and I'm looking into flowers I tend to do a lot of research behind the symbolism of what that flower means and how I can draw that illustration. I've been wanting to draw a tulip witch for a long time and since I read uh, quite a while ago that tulips uh, were originally used in love potions I thought it'd be fantastic to do a really fun um, illustration with this particular witch. Now this is Tulula. Tulula specialises in making love potions and she favours the tulip flower because each flower has a significant meaning. Um, I'll go into the language of flowers in a bit but first let's actually talk about the piece. I did a little bit of sketching and decided that I wanted the main focus to be on the red flower that she is holding. There is lots of different types of colours of flower and each one having their own significant meaning but red is the most passionate flower. Um, if you want to give someone saying that you internally love them it tends to be that red flowers are the ones that um, symbolise this and it's quite interesting if you do a bit of research behind flowers I find them fascinating to see what different languages of different colours uh, mean in particular to people and I thought it'd be really fun to have this focus on the main flower in the centre. Um, she has a lot of orange and yellow uh, tulips around her so I really wanted this focus to mainly be on the red flower in there so that's why her eyes are looking down. Um, I really wanted this calm atmosphere around the character. Um, overall the character design is just because I really wanted to experiment with certain colours. This is a really self-indulgent piece if I'm honest. Um, I tend to find that when I um, am in sort of like a weird headspace I really enjoy drawing just what makes me happy and this really made me happy and was so relaxing to colour in. The technique I'm using here is where you put uh, your alcohol marker down as your base and then build on top with um, coloured pencils or pencil crayons, whichever you prefer to call it. I say coloured pencils for some reason, I just find it easier, or pencil crayons, I don't know, I tend to switch between the two. Um, there's nothing special about the um, pens pencils I'm using, they're just WH Smith pencils. Uh, they're sort of like a cheaper alternative to Prismacolor or, and Polychromos, even though Polychromos don't tend to have, or uh, Prismacolors don't tend to have uh, quite that much of a shine. Um, they are soft, um, but they can leave a waxy residue on top. But I find that this has been really fun to experiment with, and I highly recommend if you are looking for a new technique, try alcohol markers with coloured pencils on top. You will get a really nice texture in between it all, and it is sometimes really fun to build up all those colours because sometimes I find that um, alcohol markers can be quite graphical. I tend to use them um, to build up layers and treat them almost like watercolours in a way with those techniques that I try and do um, when if I'm just using alcohol markers alone. But I really like to build on top with pencils. And you'll also notice here that I am not using fine liners of any way, shape or form. And this is because I really wanted the image to have this soft feeling to it. So I'm outlining everything with coloured pencil. Um, I'm not just choosing one colour as well, I'm mixing my colours and I find that this makes an illustration look a lot softer and if you're after that soft feel this can really help enhance that. So first of all let's talk about the language of tulips. Now there are a few different um, thing, websites that say lots of different things but the websites that I tend to use whenever I'm looking at um, flower meanings is flowermeanings.org. Um, I use this whenever I'm picking out flowers for specific illustrations. Um, if I want to do my research, this website's been absolutely fantastic. I'll leave a link for it down below. Um, but it's just because when I'm using flowers, I like to really think about it. And it's the same whenever I use plants in any illustration or whenever I'm using anything um, to uh, frame an illustration or make it a main part of an illustration. I like to do my little bit, I like to do a little bit of research because I think research is super important when it comes to drawing. Sometimes you can draw for drawing's sake and I do that a lot, but I feel like when you're using flowers, it is really important to do your research behind each meaning. Uh, tulips are up there with some of my favorite flowers 
Um, my favourite flowers in particular are tulips, forget-me-nots, lilies, uh, daisies and sunflowers. I adore these flowers. Um, not all of them are safe for cats, which is why I don't grow, uh, well, I don't have them in my house or my flat. Um, I don't have a garden, so I can't grow them, unfortunately. I wish I had a garden, but unfortunately I just don't. Um, and even then, if I did, I would not be able to, um, I would not grow anything that was toxic for cats simply because uh, my cat gets a little bit poorly and I would not want anything uh, for her to in particular you know um, get poorly and that's one of the things that unfortunately um, it can go around um, you've just got to be careful when you're looking at plants be sure to do your research especially if you've got fur babies um, only because yeah, I've seen it happen. Um, I, I did have an aloe vera plant and unfortunately I've had to put that away. Um, it's no longer in the reach of the cat um, so that she can't get anywhere near it because when I bought it, I did not understand that my cat could be allergic to it. So always do your research when it comes to plants, especially if you have fur babies. Um, so let's go talk about the uh, colours in total. So if you're looking at yellow tulips, they're a symbol of unreturned or unrequented love. This is a person that, uh, this is a flower that you send to the person. It is a person. Apparently the flower's a person now <laughs> it's a flower that you send to a person if you're not sure that they return your feelings it's sort of like i really like you but i'm not entirely sure and this is something um i figured would be really good around the overall illustration um bright red bright red tulips symbolize love and passion this is a perfect bouquet of flowers to send to someone you love and adore so it's a really passionate love that you can give to someone which is why i wanted the main focus to her to have this red flower you'll notice at the beginning it looks kind of pink and then i build up the red on top and this is because i really wanted to create this shading feeling around it um i ended up building up the colors a little bit more to make it look less pink and more red Purple tulip flowers are linked to royalty and prosperity. Um, it's a symbol of royalty, wealth, and nobility. Uh, it's a, it's, it's color. The color purple is a symbol of extravagance, independence, and devotion. Um, but these flowers tend to be um, if you're just gifting it to someone, they don't have like a massive uh, fear behind it it's more like if you gift it to someone they can gift it to anyone it is a perfect flower gift to anyone uh, pink is an a symbol of affection and love um this is a good flower to give to someone if you love them but not in a heavily romantic way say if you've got um if you've got so like this would be a really perfect flower to give to your mother uh, your father or family member or friend um this is like a perfect way to say that you appreciate them them and you love them for who they are but it doesn't say hey i like you in a romantic way <laughs> um white is a sim uh flowers uh, tend to be for a symbol of forgiveness um so a white tulip would be perfect for giving to someone um if you want forgiveness um I don't know why it's just one of those uh, orange is a symbol of happiness and represent a mutual connection and understanding between uh, two people um so it, it's it's fairly interesting um and black tulips as well are a sign of um a heart burning with love so if you're very passionate you give them black tulips <laughs> flower language is always very interesting and um it's amazing how much connection can be behind the simple act of gifting someone a flower. Um, they ha each have so many meanings and so much devotion behind them. And tulips uh, were and still are um, a massive trade. Um, if you look behind the history of tulips, it's got a fascinating history behind it. And I think it's just something that is so interesting to research because it's a flower gifting someone a flower can mean so much to them and with spring um coming and like happy spring equinox everyone for tomorrow i'm very excited <laughs> may um like everyone's flowers bloom let's hope that this year can have a little bit more positivity behind it because We've not started off great, but it's going to be good. Like, even 
I just I, I I often find when I'm very very stressed or when I'm feeling overwhelmed I throw myself into research and my projects and um, that's just my way of dealing with things and I find that research doing stuff like this is so much fun maybe I'll do a lot more with different flowers and if you're interested in hearing a lot more like let me know it's something I'm very passionate about um I miss having a garden so much. I used to really enjoy gardening with my mom and we used to grow sunflowers every single year and it was something I would love doing and when we oh the sugar snap um sugar, and the just all the plants we used to grow and I remember the the smell of lavender in in the back garden was just something I I I've always loved flowers and it's something I'm very passionate about and some people may find that weird but I really enjoy it <laughs> um but it's really fun to find out something that you did not know before and um, as I was researching this I never would have thought that a tulip would have so much meaning behind it and I really enjoy drawing this um it would be interesting to see what other people would do with a tulip which I know that um, in the discord at the moment we're talking about mermaid and what we can do for mermaid and um, the discord's been really chatty lately which is really fun I've been really enjoyed talking to people about projects and um, the prints of this will go to um, Patreon um, people who have done £25 and up. So anyone who backs that tier will get this print as well as the sticker that goes with it as well, which I'm super excited about. If you are interested, the Patreon link is down below, as well as this is going to be up on my Redbubble. So you'll be able to get prints of this up on my Redbubble if you are interested. I absolutely adore this piece and I think it would make a perfect um part to go in my plant witch art book which i will be releasing later this year i've been doing a lot of drawing and i've been compiling a lot of my pieces together and coloring in and sometimes coloring in is just really relaxing um just been really exciting actually working on my new coloring book which i will talk about in the next few weeks but next week's video is my draw this in your style video the moon weaver uh, which i will feature everyone's work up on there as well which if you're excited uh, to take part just check out my Instagram and Twitter which is linked below but here is a few final looks at the piece and overall I love this colour palette it's so rich so nice and if I could change anything um, I would change her posing up slightly to make it look a little bit more dynamic and uh, to mix up the colour variation a little bit just because that golden border tends to blend with her skin a little bit too much but I hope you have enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section down below what your favourite flower is I hope you have a wonderful day and as always folks, stay creative.